Good morning, rabbits. Good morning, YouTube. Let's get the day started. I'm in the office. Last day in the office this week. I'm excited. I'll tell you in a second what uh, True Love and I are going to do Friday and Saturday. But uh, anyway, woo! Just cranking, importing. Right there, right there. Just delightful, just delightful, I must say. It's hard to open the yogurt while you're filming. True love, can you help? Thanks. Of course. <laughs> Two right, hands. So. Oh, it wasn't open yet. I thought it was open. Oh. Oh well. I mean. Oh no, this is for us to have. Still eating it. Next um, level yum. Han, I was wondering if you wanted to give me a haircut later. Oh, perfect. Okay. Tonight. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if later meant like. Oh yeah. Whoop. Okay. First impressions of the DJI Mavic Pro. Hope you enjoyed that flight around the park. And basically, I will start with the negative real quick, the remote control. I think you went backward, DJI. It's a little too complex to figure out, and I, I don't read the instructions. I just don't. I just dive in. So if I would have read the ins entire instruction booklet, probably would have helped, probably would have helped, but I don't do that. Who has time for that? So I just dove in, and basically, the whole like connection between the remote control and your phone definitely got more difficult compared to the Phantom 4. Just saying, now I do appreciate that you made the remote control smaller, which means it'll be easier to pack up 14ers, Andrew, which are big mountains here in Colorado. So I like the fact, but it just is, feels like it went a little bit backward when it comes to setting up the remote and charging the remote. I still am struggling to figure out how to charge this remote. What? Okay, that's the negative, but the positive is amazing. Okay, here we go. Um, first of all, here it is, the, the drone all folded up. If you fold these arms out like this, uh, it gets bigger, but the fact that you can fold these arms like that is pretty amazing. I remember flying through the uh, Polish airports last year, last summer when I went to Krakow, and basically everybody was looking at me because I had the Phantom 4 hanging off my backpack, and uh, I got some really strange looks. So this is gonna be nice. I can basically fit this in my pocket, take it up mountains, once again, Andrew, but I will say it's a little funky folding these arms. I haven't broken an arm yet, which is really good. But it feels like when I'm folding these down that I'm about to break it. But I don't know. Anyway, this is how you designed it, so I'll keep doing it. But it's a little funky how it folds and closes. The gimbal, amazing. Seems great. Seems steady. Uh, that's the gimbal right there that holds the camera. And the camera seems solid, too. You know, good colors. I've noticed the colors are maybe a little better in this camera. Not so sure about the depth of field. Still figuring that out. This is my only, only my second flight today um, ever with a Mavic Pro. So, uh, and then the battery, solid, uh, easier to charge compared to the Phantom and seems like good battery life. Uh, I haven't taken it to its max yet. Probably, probably about 30 minutes is my guess. So that's my initial impressions of the DJI Mavic Pro. Very excited. And just for me, I take off all the base, all the, the restrictions uh, for, within the app because I want to fly, fly, fly. I want to go fast. I want to dive and weave and probably why I crash so much. But hey, you got to take risks to get good shots. So that's how I fly. That's how I like to fly. But uh, so far, so good. It seems like it's responding well in the air, you know, diving and cutting quickly, which is very, makes me very happy. All right, that is it. Love you all. If you are newer to the vlog, the question of the day is, how did you find the vlog? I'm guessing I know how, but how did you? And what are you most excited about for the daily video? What would you, and even I'll put it out there, what would you like me to film, all right? Day. 
True Love's about to give me a haircut, and I'm trying to keep this vlog as short and simple as possible because I don't want to do much editing tomorrow. Because, uh, True Love, what are we doing in the morning? I'm going to a little piece of heaven a in little, Denver. Little, can't tell you where it's at. No. Can't tell you it's where it's at. It's our little precious, perfect paradise. Celebrating what? Our sixth wedding anniversary. Six-year wedding anniversary. Six-year wedding anniversary tomorrow. So we're taking the day to get away. And uh, basically, so I'm keeping this vlog as simple and smart short baby, as so possible smart. for the editing in the morning. Right. Sorry, people. Sorry. Work smarter and harder. Work smarter and harder. All right. Let me get a stool for the haircut. Hold on. Thanks, for doing this. Nice. Just found this note from Nana. My mom wrote this when she was watching the boys a couple days ago. And uh, Joseph left us this message before he went to bed. He said, Dear Mama, I want pancakes, hash browns, green machine juice, and oatmeal for breakfast. Love Joseph. Hey, he's a growing boy. He's getting big. He's hungry. I can understand that. Love you all. Seek beauty. Work hard for each other. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit of a different vlog. We're going uh, to a spot that I'm not going to film a ton at. So there might be a little bit of a vlog takeover. We shall see. We shall see. Just come back and find out. Alright. See you tomorrow.